It's the 22nd of September. I'm Jerusha Sukthio Rath, and you're watching News 24 Live. The eight policemen found guilty of murdering Mozambican taxi driver Mido Masia will be sentenced in the High Court in Pretoria. Last month, Judge Bert Bam fought, found all eight acted in common purpose in handcuffing Masia to the back of a police van, dragging him behind it and beating him up in the cells of the Davidson Police Station in February 2013. He was found dead with his head in a pool of blood. All of them lied to the court, Bam said. He rejected their claim that they didn't know Marcia was seriously injured and Bam said that Marcia had suffered more directed violence than the officers had let on in their testimony. A decision has been taken to suspend all public transport in the Itikwini municipality after 300 vehicles were impounded at the weekend. A spokesperson confirmed Metro Police impounded 305 vehicles, including 163 taxis, 120 metre taxis, and 18 Durban Transport Municipal buses and four private buses. Law enforcement authorities are out in full force monitoring the situation, and commuters have been urged to make alternative transport arrangements until further notice. And finally, the family of a 14-year-old Muslim student who got in trouble over a handmade clock that Texan teachers say appeared to be a possible bomb withdrew the boy on Monday from his suburban Dallas high school. Ahmed Mohammed's father, Mohammed Al Hassan Mohammed, said he's pulled all his children from the schools in the Irving Independent School District. Mohammed said the family is still deciding where to send the children to school. Ahmed said that he brought the clock he made to the MacArthur High School in Irving last week to show a teacher. Officials say he was arrested after another teacher saw it and became concerned. Ahmed wasn't charged, but he was suspended from school for three days. He's been invited to the White House by Barack Obama, and he'll also travel to New York to meet United Nations dignitaries. More on News 24 Live.